We are back once again, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, it's going to be a special video today because today is the first day of golf of my sister and my brother-in-law. So we're here playing our leg of the the Mati Soleman Cup thingy uh, here in Philippine Navy Golf Club on a very sunny Sunday. It's very hot Sunday afternoon, and and yeah, I'm I'm joining my sister. So. Um, you'll you'll see some of her shots, some of the advices we can give. And you know what? Because she's a beginner, and my brother-in-law is a beginner. And later you will see him in the back nine, where I moved to the different the other flight, so I can I can shoot a part two maybe of this course vlog. Uh, and let me give some tips for beginners. So don't get me wrong. I'm not a pro. I'm not good. I'm not good really. But at least some of my thoughts on how beginners should play. A golf course especially if it's your first time or maybe your first few times to be in the actual golf course and not in the driving range because it's totally different i'll see you then So guys, I want you to meet my sister. My sister, Hi. first time in the golf course, but she hit her driver farther than my dad's drive. <laughs> first time. First time first in the time. golf course. So guys, uh, uh, first tip that I can give to beginners, first time players, when you reach the course, don't think of how long the hole is. The first thing you need to think about is what club can I hit that I can make it fly? Confidence is necessary, especially on the very first strike. Because if your first ball does not even fly, you start to say, why Why am I doing this? Why Why in the driving range I can make it fly? Anymore. I don't want to play anymore. No, no, no. Remember, your first time in the golf course is not about if you can hit the greens like everyone else in regulation or putting par, putting birdie. No. Your first time in a golf course is getting the feel of how to really play the game and not just on the driving range. So first tip, find your club that the best one that you can hit from the range with the tee, use that for your first hit. Some of you, it may be a 7 iron. Leia's first shot was a 7 iron. Some of you, it may be a hybrid, maybe a pitching wedge for all I care. Make it fly. Get that confidence on the first shot. And okay. relax. Have fun. Relax. Relax. Hey guys, <laughs> now I'm in the bunker na party. Next tip, next tip for beginners, first time playing a course. It doesn't matter if it's a par 5, it's a par 3, 
it may be 100 yards, it may be 500 yards. Go back to tip number one. What club are you confident in using? Right. So what, again, if you're just before the green pitching in a power three pitching for two, you don't really need to get there. If you know that you don't have the club to get there, if you're not confident, even with hitting your driver to get there, get your seven iron, get your five iron, get it in front, and then just make a bogey afterwards. Why not? At least it's not a double or a double par, right? You're still learning. Still learning. learning. You're still learning. Again, when you're in the golf course, what's important is feeling the grass, feeling the lie, feeling if you're um, standing upright, if you're standing with a, uh, with a flatter lie angle and all that, if you're uphill, downhill, side hill, all of those things you have to learn. You can't learn that in the driving range, right? So, again, if it's the first time in the golf course, what's important is getting the confidence. Confidence and what clubs to use, what club you can really get, get up in the air, because honestly, it's different from the range. Okay lang, okay lang. Tama na may sing. Hi guys, sorry because we had to pause a little bit because suddenly it rained and then now it's sunny again. But yeah, so, okay, okay uh, say, is this tip number three? I don't know. All right, tip number three for beginners in the fairway. And I'm sure you are not doing this in the driving range because I see a lot of beginners in the driving range really just whacking the hell out of as many balls as they can because they paid 700 pesos for one hour and they have to hit as many balls as they can. No, that's wrong. Get a rhythm. And get a routine. A routine is what you do before you even set up to hit the ball. Maybe your routine is doing three practice swings far from the ball. Maybe your routine is like what I, I shared with my sister earlier. A routine can be putting your feet together when addressing the ball. And then moving your feet properly to the right distances. And then getting a little tilt if you're holding on to the driver. Always make sure you find that routine. Sometimes routines can be things that make people feel they are lucky when they hit a shot. Whatever it may be, a routine is a routine. You better get that routine. So, apparently not everything is a perfect shot. I just topped my five wood. I had like 220 yards away from the green after my drive on a par five. And I topped my five wood. <laughs> did I do my routine? No, I did not. Actually, I did not. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's hit our third shot onto the green. So at least we have a putt for birdie. Still a long way to go, honestly. Remember the days we were nice young, shot! Wild and free, basic eddings bright. We used to dance the night away, hang out the whole next day. Good! Nice spot! Nice spot! Hey guys, uh, sorry, but it's so tough because I'm walking, I'm holding the camera, I have no one with me. My sister's the one taking my videos from time to time, right? But uh, we might pause. We're in hole number 15, we have 16, 17, and then I'll start again in hole number 18 where we'll try to get the last hole together with my sister before I move on to the next flight with my brother in law, who's also a first timer. And then my brother Gian will uh, join this flight. Right, to replace me okay last tip maybe for this first part of joining uh, joining beginners um, 
And I noticed this, I actually told my sister this When your ball goes to the bunker Get it out You don't have to hit it in the bunker You don't have to hit it in the bunker It's your first time in the golf course Question, have you practiced your bunker shots in the driving range? Most probably not You don't know how to hit that It's going to be your first time to try to hit a bunker shot Don't Let's get it out Enjoy, have fun Again, build confidence then when you go to the practice range look for a range with a bunker and ask your coach if you have a coach to try to help you there not in the golf course number one it will reduce your confidence level number two not everyone can hit a wonderful bunker shot i'll be honest even pros nope and number three it will help speed up the game so guys i'll see you in hole number 18 where am i right now i'm two over par i have ah, yeah, two bogeys i don't have a birdie yet but let's see it's another par five hitting my second shot guys yeah, see you in hole number 18. Guys, we are ending part one, uh, the game with my sister. Again, I'm so sorry, but we had to stop filming for three holes. And uh, I don't know, we stopped filming for three holes. And those three holes, my sister, who's the first time in the golf course, scored par in those three holes. All we had to do was make sure she had her rituals, right? She had her... Um, the, she would she would take three practice swings before she hits she would make sure that the ball is right where the lowest point if it's the irons and and somewhere upwards of the driver in fact for the driver and here in the 18th hole her last shot the one that you saw carried in front of the water hazard jumped above the water hazard and she even outdrove my dad so again for for all of you who's gonna who's going to have your first few attempts on the golf course after the driving range just set the expectations again the driving range is so much different than the fairways the stands are different the grass is different etc especially if you've been practicing on a mat it's totally different second build confidence use clubs that you are confident with especially from the range if you're on the bunker take it out of the bunker hit it from the grass not from the sand trap right unless you've been practicing the sand traps in in different driving range with trap uh, with sand trap practice areas right number three let's have fun right don't don't aim for the distance just get the ball flying confidence build build your confidence and and just have fun with your friends all right guys so we're finishing this uh whole 18th i hope you enjoy and i'll see you in part two So we have it, the first nine holes of my Ooh. first time in the golf course. Sister, who scored three, three pars. pars. Uh, and unfortunately, those three par pars were not in video. <laughs> but anyway, three pars, just know that she had three pars. I don't feeling the first time in golf course. So so different compared to when you're hitting it sa driving range. Like driving range, you don't have any direction. Eh. But here you have to be mindful ng lakas, where the wind is, pag nagpapat ka na, you have to practice your putting talaga. Very important. See you guys, yeah. <laughs> like I told you, driving range is not the same as fairway. So go out to the fairways, look for your nearest public course maybe. Even or, if it's raining, go. Even if it's raining, it's not raining, so maybe we'll stop filming now. Bye guys, see you in part two. Alright guys, sorry, it's so dark, it's raining, so there's no more part two. 
But we're supposed to be filming Chino and Raymond. So probably in the May, June. June leg. To see them in the June leg. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow. Follow my Facebook page, The Golfing Banker. <laughs> Just follow. We need to reach 5,000 subscribers. Thank you. Guys. Yeah. <laughs>